Gamers, today I wanted to talk about something that I get, you know, occasionally asked on my Twitch stream, which is how do you prevent having back pain or how do you not have back pain or wrist pain because I'm playing not only I'm on computer for like 80 plus hours a day, but I'm actually actively playing for eight hours a day. So I wanted to start with an obvious one that I am not a doctor, okay? So if you're seeking medical advice, this is not where you're gonna get some because I am not a doctor. And if you're in any kind of pain or whatever, you need to go to a doctor, okay? You do not just uh, listen to me and, and chill. But I wanted to share my experiences because I've been competing in RTS games for 13 years now. Um, obviously I'm you know sitting like a lot of you in chair doing work all day and um, kind of wanted to share my experience with uh, uh, potential uh, carpal tunnel issues, uh, back pain, knee pain from all the sitting and um, wrist pain which is you know can lead to carpal tunnel. So um, I have talked to some um, what are they called physicians that we have had at some of the gaming events in Starcraft that were like actually uh, treating like uh, professional sports players and people that do like massages for um for backs like sports massages and all that and this is kind of what i've gathered throughout the years and the advice that was given to me so i'm just kind of gonna pass it on to you guys so number one is something that i don't do well enough is obviously the sitting so the number one thing that you want to do when you are sitting obviously you want your back um, you know, you don't want your chair to be like loose, right? You don't want your chair to be like this uh, as you're playing because then your back is kind of going to be... So you want your back to be fully onto the chair. You want to sit all the way in the back so that your back is straight and you want to be playing like this. Now this is something that I'm not very good with. Sometimes I slouch, but you do not want to um, slouch. You want to make sure that your back is straight and that when you're playing you're, you know, looking directly uh, into the monitor with as least slouching possible. Now, um, one thing that I don't really see people get a lot of advice on is actually your monitor uh, height. So um, whether it was like a gamer or just someone IRL that I've been to their house, uh, the monitor is supposed to be in the height of your eyes. So for example, if your monitor is too low, like let's say I'm looking downwards like this, you're straining your neck because you're going to be looking down and if you just sit at home and you look down you're going to have you're going to feel strained right here and over time you will have some kind of problems either like in the neck area or the shoulder area or whatever same thing if your monitor is too far up and you're doing this you're going to feel strain once again here the way uh that the perfect height for the monitor that should be uh, from what I remember should be an arm's length so you shouldn't be staring at the monitor too close so if you put your arm forward it should be arm's length from where your chest is and your monitor the center of your monitor should be like when you look like this you should be able to see your whole monitor by simply moving your eyes around you shouldn't need to do this if you need to do that then your monitor is probably not properly positioned uh, and another good one is that the that, that I was told is like your head should be where the top of your monitor is. So top of my monitor is right here, boom, right? So when you're playing or when you're working, you're not moving your head too much, but also you're not looking like this the whole time as you're playing because it will cause strain um, on your neck. So next thing, uh, next thing is an obvious one, which is whenever you get up, which you should get up at least once an hour, you should stretch your legs. Always try to stretch your legs, stretch your knees a little bit. You know, you want to make them feel good. And if they feel too tense, then you should probably do some, uh, you know, just, just, just stretch your legs a little bit. It's always good. It, you can also prevent uh, uh, like blood clots and stuff like that from sitting too much, uh, which is always good. Now next, on to the arm positioning. A few different doctors uh, and physicians, like I said at the gaming events we've had, gave me the same advice, which is something that I've listened to and I used to, at one point in StarCraft 2, uh, have wrist problems. So there was a point in StarCraft 2 where I had a lot of pains in my wrists and I had to play a lot less because I used to play for like 8 plus hours a day, which I still do. And once I changed my... Um, arm positioning a little bit that slowly went away over time 
and and uh, wrist pain and you know they can lead to carpal tunnel can be very very problematic i know a lot of players in starcraft 2 that have had it and you need to do surgeries and you need to do a bunch of other stuff resting and it's not fun so in order to help with this uh what i was told is whenever you're on computer you need to avoid so i'm going to put my camera down so the way i play uh it doesn't matter if i'm at home or not you want to make sure that your elbow is on the desk right or if you're having a chair with like arm rest you want to make sure that your whole arm is on something what you don't want to do is this this is how you will have wrist issues or probably more issues than that so you don't want to be playing like this if you're doing this you should probably not do that anymore uh, the reason for that is if your arm is like this uh, it strains different parts of your arm it's gonna strain this part quite a bit and it's gonna cause uh, wrist problems you can also cut off circulation if your arm is like this the whole time you can cut off circulation you can have cold arms or whatever so whenever you're playing try to have both of your arms like this both are on the desk you don't need to worry about a thing and whenever you're playing your hand is completely like you know strain free you're chilling and once I've had problems with my wrists when I switched to that it improved dramatically for me and um, well I, I don't have any issues anymore regarding that so even though I play for as long as I play every day I don't have any wrist issues so that's very nice and uh, the players that did end up having carpal tunnel in StarCraft 2 were literally playing like this all of them every single one so not to say that again i'm not a doctor maybe you can get carpal tunnel like this too right but all of them that did have it they were playing like this and uh it was no bueno and few people that did have wrist issues once they switched to full arm on desk it did help them a lot and obviously this is not just for people who play games but also people who just sit in general it's the same thing i want to make sure everyone understands I am not giving you this advice as a doctor. If you have any kind of pain, you should go to doctor, especially in your wrists, because it, it can escalate and you can get a lot worse. Um, if you are doing one of the things that I mentioned that you shouldn't be doing, I would advise you to change immediately or you will have issues. This is not like the case of, oh, I've been sitting like this and I'm fine, or I've been having my you know hands like this and I'm fine. You're fine now but you will have problems eventually obvious things that you can also do is you know working out especially uh, uh working out for your back stretching is incredibly important and i forgot i almost forgot one last thing so except for the stretches that you can do you know for your legs and for your knees uh you can also do a lot of the back exercise for your back you know you can do the regular normal stretching you know one of these and so on um other than those, uh, there are uh, important wrist exercises that you can do. So uh, the simplest ones that you can do is you put your arm straight completely and then you just need to pull your arm until you feel strain here. So you can just do this. Obviously, don't break your arm. You're not supposed to be in pain, but you are supposed to feel strain. And you just hold it there for, you know, 5-10 seconds. Then you can do the other arm. Boom. Again, you're supposed to feel a strain. You're not supposed to make yourself be in pain. You can do that with both arms and then you can do it the, the other way as well. So instead of like this, you do it downwards. You just push and you will kind of feel a little bit of relief if, if your wrists are strained. So that's something you can do. Um, and that's something that if you watch any RTS tournaments, sometimes when a player finishes the game, they will, they will go with one of these immediately. And that's because their wrists are strained so they're trying to you know you can also do one of these whatever can help with your wrists just kind of relax them a little bit um it will help you like i said and and doing stretches like this you know if you queue up for a game doesn't cost you a thing you know to just do one of these uh and once you get used to it once you get once you start doing it would turn into a habit so you won't even notice so yeah Stretching, number one, baby. That's it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you. Again, I am not a doctor. If you are in pain, seek medical advice immediately. I am just giving you these pointers as someone who has been competing and playing video games 
a lot my whole life and especially in the past 13 years and right now knock on wood I got no pain so there you go try it out I mean it's free I'm not I'm not trying to sell you essential oils over here you know try it out and I hope it helps you if you're watching on YouTube check me out on Twitch I'm probably live right now if you're watching on Twitch let's keep going Thank you.